about the processing center. This is sort of the, the end of the line for those wonderful shoe boxes that uh, you've packed so faithfully and with so much love. And uh, with us are a couple of guests. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Joel. Now, we've talked to Joel before with Samaritan's Purse from out west. I understand you're from the, 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 the head office, right? Well, actually, uh, I live in Ontario. Our head offices are in Calgary. So I spend a lot of my time in central Ontario with Operation Christmas Child. But you're with the organization pretty well full time. This is uh, this is a big project. It is huge. It is huge. It, it is go. It goes all year round. So it's our opportunity to connect with churches, to connect with individuals, just to kind of bring the awareness. I think one of the the greatest uh, insights that I was told back when I first started with with uh, Samaritan's Purse was Samaritan's Purse in Ontario is one of the best kept secrets. So it's our job to get out there, just to bring perspective, awareness to churches, community groups, schools about the impact that shoe boxes is making around the world. Samaritan's Purse uh, involves so many people with so much expertise and uh, one of those uh, one of those uh, principles if you will with a lot of expertise is May. May, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. If I was to ask you what is it you do here, tell me in 50 words or less. Oh, 50 words or less. I guess uh, we process the shoe boxes. Uh, we are come alongside this year to assist the, uh, the uh, manager of the processing center for Operation Christmas Child. And uh, uh, we uh, trained them last year. And uh, at the first time that uh, they opened a center in uh, uh, the GTA area. And uh, we're back again volunteering and thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah, because without the volunteers, none of this really would happen. What's involved in training a volunteer? What is there they need to know? Well, uh, the biggest thing is um, the reason that there is a processing center is uh, we have to make sure that everything in a box is what should be there. We never take anything out unless it doesn't meet uh, what the criteria says. Uh, something that is scary war-torn, uh, used items. Those are the things that we take out. And uh, if a box is two-thirds full, then it's taped and it goes on the way to the third world country. Uh, if it needs a little bit of help and it's not two-thirds full, we send it to what we call the box hospital. So in training, we explain these things to the volunteers so that when they get out on the table, they know what their positions are and uh, give them a good experience. Uh, Joel, logistically, and that's what this is all about. Yeah. I mean, you could have a mountain of boxes that go nowhere. And I don't think, and this is why we're here today, because uh, we, we wanted to get an idea, yeah. the sense of this processing center. Tell me, give me some numbers, can you, sure. just how big sure. this is? Yeah, this is huge. So we have three processing centers. We have one in Kitchener-Waterloo. We have obviously one here in Oakville this year. And then where our head offices are in Calgary, we have a processing center there. So this year, we, we are prayerfully... Um, um, looking to process uh, hopefully around 700,000 shoe boxes in Canada globally every year. Operation Christmas Child sends over 10 million shoe boxes around the world. Mm -hmm. And here in Ontario, uh, our shoe boxes this year will be going to countries like Haiti, um, to Costa Rica, um, because it's all about partnerships. Partnerships here with the local churches, but partnerships overseas with churches and organizations as well. Now these boxes are distributed uh, 12 months of the year, mate. Right? Yes, uh, what happens, they, when they leave here, they're put on containers. And so uh, they're taken to the seaport, and then they go across. And, of course, over there in the third world country, they don't know what Christmas is. Mm -hmm. And to when a shoebox comes, most of them have never received a shoebox in their whole life. And it's amazing. And so it doesn't matter when. And then they have a distribution team over there uh, that uh, distributes them. And uh, we recommend anybody that does shoe boxes, if you want to go on a distribution trip, go on SamaritansPurse.ca. And under Teams, you can register to go on one of those distribution teams. And it's a life-changing experience. Amen. Yeah. Certainly would be. And the, the, the synergies, too, I would think, Joel, are there because a shoebox, you might mount, if you will, a shoebox campaign in a, in a village and all of a sudden see they have no water 
you know, and all of a sudden the biosand water filters come into play and the whole resources of Samaritan's Purse play a part. Exactly. You know, for a lot of countries we work with, it's the shoebox that allows us to get into the country to do really what we do well, which is provide uh, love and support to countries around the world. So that little shoebox that so many people in Canada have packed this year is, is making a true difference, not only in a child's life, in a community's life, in a family's life, in a country's life. It is absolutely amazing the impact that a simple gift can have on children and people around the world. I think I misspoke earlier when I, uh, when I said that this was sort of the, the end point for all of this, but actually it isn't. The end point are the hands of a, of a child opening that wonderful shoebox that uh, so many of our listeners have packed, and we want to thank them and, and give you an opportunity of uh, just getting a feel for what this is all about, this, uh, this wonderful warehouse where many months of the year it's empty, but right now it's full of love and the love of Jesus Christ. And uh, we just want to thank Joel and May for awesome. being part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we just want to thank everyone that has packed the shoebox this year. Again, the difference that you have made in a child's life is uh, eternal. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, May. Thank you.